This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this week's edition of The Pit Stop, where we're here to talk about sim racing and everything going on in the wonderful world of sim racing as we close in on the end of 2020. Uh, a lot of things going on in sim racing. I think a lot of companies are kind of trying to get their last efforts for the year wrapped up and put into that 2020 uh, version of their sim before we kick things off for the new year. Sort of that last time stamp for a lot of sims. So a lot of big things are going on in sim racing. A lot of updates, uh, a lot of new content, things like that. Lots of racing as well. Uh, we here at the Sim Pit, we're kind of between our seasons right now. We're having our December fun all month long. Seems like uh, every day we have some other fun, cool event where me and the guys, if you're part of our community, just type in or want to be, just type in exclamation mark Discord and you can join our Discord channel and come hang out with our wonderful, wonderful community for the Sim Pit. So many great guys, great racers, lots of fun to be had there and uh, we got a lot of fun racing through the weekend for our group. So we'll talk about that at the end of the show. Let's start things off with what's going on in Sim Racing though, beyond us having a good time. I hope you're having a good time, and I hope this Friday kicks off a great weekend for all of you out there. So, biggest news for me right now, obviously, is the new update, the 2021 Season 1 from iRacing. Uh, as you see in this image, we have a lot of things to look at and talk about. Um, oh, I don't have a graphic for 3 wide. That's somewhat inexcusable, Sean. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow right here on YouTube is 3 Wide. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., me, Amir Asad, and Devin Booth are going to talk about various different topics going on in sim racing. And one of them is what I just talked about. Uh, the fact that this build for my racing was huge. So we are going to talk tomorrow on 3 Wide about the massive update, tra tracks, cars, changes the tire model, license requirements, all of that. Other news that we're going to talk about very briefly during the show today, but very big in the news this week, was the BMW Fanatec or Fanatic wheel. Uh, incredible looking steering wheel now offered for the podium base and one of these new high-end wheel rims from uh, uh, Fanatic. We're going to talk about that a little bit today, and we're going to talk about it a little more de in detail during tomorrow's 3 Wide show. And then finally, I think we'll probably graze upon Twitch's update to their harassment and hate policies and things like that that are kind of changing the world of streaming and how we interact with each other in these communities that we are a part of now, whether it be, uh, you know, it goes beyond Twitch because we're talking Twitter, we're talking Facebook, we're talking general forums, whether you're like the forum for iRacing. We all have rules that we deal with and these policies do change uh, along with hopefully what society wants. Anyway, all right, back to sim racing. Let's let's focus on what's going on here at iRacing. I'm going to mention again, I did a video on Wednesday, right when the content came out, and we tried all of the new content. We tried the Lamborghini GT3 Huracan, which I don't see in the images here. We tried that out at Long Beach. We tried out this new big block late model. We tried that um, in the dirt, obviously, at the new uh, track Cedar Lake Speedway. You can see an image here. And then we also did try out the new virtual IndyCar, I'm going to call it, the IRO1, the super massive horsepower, super massive downforce, super big tires, massive grip. Uh, interesting car to drive. We tried all of them out on Twitch on Wednesday. I enjoyed the new content. Really, really loved Long Beach. It was great for me, and I'm going to save most of my thoughts for tomorrow's show on this. But that is the biggest news right now in iRacing. A very, very big build. New content, uh, updates to the sim, and, and a lot of uh, great things. So again, updated cars and tracks, updated physics, updated AI. So we have more tracks being added to the AI list. Cross-licensing in certain track type series uh i guess that means the branding could change depending on the type of event you're running and showroom check out the brand new 3d model of your car with live lighting and high quality i have not seen that by the way uh i got this link through their twitter page there is uh, a link to the full release notes are they back up or are they still down oh here we go so here are the full, it's within the forums, you know, when you talk release notes for iRacing, it's like you have to be within the within the fortress, within the castle, within the walls in order to even see it. But um, there you go. Um, and 
And anyway, big, big deal. Look at this list of updates, highlights to their update, things like that. So very, very cool. And we are in the middle of week 13 right now. Ooh, my inbox is full. I have 34 new messages. Sage Karam locks up the IRX All-Star Invitational presented by Yokohama with title win with a Sonoma win. So he wins in Sonoma. And along with that wins the title. So Sage Karam, here's the finishing order at Sonoma. Nick Ottinger in second. Scott Speed in third. Looking at the overall points, it was Sage Karam winning 137 points over Scott Speed with 128. Connor Martell in third. Kevin Swindell in fourth. And Chris Atkinson in his fifth place in the season. This is the IRX All-Star Invitational that was running right alongside the pro championship so hearth um um what's his first name sorry about that uh johan johan hearth earns the irx world championship in thriller as ollie kanan wins in sonoma so ollie kanan goes on to win in sonoma over tommy holloman and josh fox hearth finished in fourth by the way and then the final points uh, at the end of the season are Johan Harth winning the championship, Jake Robertson in second with 172, and Tommy, Tommy Holloman with 161 in third. Mitchell DeJong finishing, uh, defending champ, finishing in fourth place overall. Alex Bergeron is back on top in the iRacing world of Outlaws. He uh, A lot of guys have been really showing their talent in the Outlaw Sprint Car Series uh, and Bergeron, the defending champion, who has really been mostly unbeatable when it comes to dirt oval stuff. Um, I'm not going to say struggling, but wasn't having quite the winning season of the year before. Anyway, uh, looks like in the latest at Lernerville, he was the winner over Kendall Tucker and Hayden Cardwell finishing in third. That's the critical difference there, because when you look at the final points or the points through five rounds. Bergeron now on top with 373. Hayden Cardwell in second with 371. And Kendall Tucker in third with 315 points. And beyond that, what else? Uh, BMW is uh, congratulating Josh Rogers on the winning the BMW Sim 120 Cup finale. $12,000 in prize money, by the way. So that's a pretty big deal. Here's a post by Johan Harth. Never expected to see his name next to those two words. I am an iRacing World Champion. <laughs> Congratulations, Johan. Yes, you are. Congratulations to you. Uh, what else? What else? New Rally Cross Configuration. That's something we didn't mention in the build notes. Uh, I kind of blew through things there. Uh, Charlotte and Brands Hatch now have Rally Cross layouts, uh, which is more stuff that I really kind of need to check out as well. Wow, there's just so much that goes on that I missed some of it. Um, William Byron getting set up in the new apartment. Ty Majeski. Um, anything else? Nick Ottinger showing off some of his trophies. There's a shot of Long Beach. The Bonk. Yeah, indeed. Bergeron, we talked about that. Zelensky showing off his, uh, his trophy. Runner-up trophy. 25 grand on the line for Bergeron and the boys in the dirt oval. Um... Still to come out of iRacing. I believe that when I started doing this show, iRacing was down. And that was the uh, Coca-Cola, a.k.a. iRacing Speedway. Coca-Cola Speedway. This new monster, monster-sized speedway. Talk about no lift. Um, that, I believe, is happening right now as we speak. So that's something else we'll be able to play around with. Um, I think it'd be funny to like take the Miata's out there. Here we are. iRacing Speedway temporarily under new management. This monstrous track will be available tomorrow, that being today. What's the first car you're driving it on? I just said Mazda. <laughs> MX-5. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be a hoot? Alright. Coming to us from R Factor 2, we had a dev update. This was on December 8, three days ago. RCCO X0 Extreme Electric Racing comes to R Factor 2.
you think? Oh, it's still such a tough sell for me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, we've had this talk on the show before. You know, I embrace electric. I embrace hybrid. But I do... I, I, for me, it's one of those things that I just live it on a low end. Like, like cars should be smaller and lighter and, and even more efficient. Um, I still have a hard time with supercars of that capacity. And, and it is purely my love for the sound of a petrol engine. Uh, that is why I resist such things. But anyway, the Zero Emissions X, <laughs> what do they call it? The X Zero uh, car is uh, now part of R Factor 2. Um, so, wait, wait, wait. So, it comes to R Factor. So, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Anyway, cool looking car. Definitely a cool looking car. Steam store, what's this gonna set us back? Six dollars, six bucks for the X Zero 2021. Thousand horsepower, obviously massive downforce. Um, anyway, good for you guys. R Factor, more content. A uh, little congratulations in the WTF One official Spa three hour race. It was an incredible event. And here are our class winners uh, by Coles Esport winning the race in the LMP category. Vargas Sim Racing in second, and RG uh, Rage Esport in third. On the GTE side of things, Team SFH winning the race over Team Redline, Porsche 24 Team Redline. Uh, in fact, if we pull up the graphic, we can get so. So the bike holds. Let's go back to the LMP, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, Jordan and Simonic, Simonchik is, are the winners in that bike holds burst Esport over Vargas Sim Racing with Chinchik. Chinsick, Toman, and Wisner, and third place was that Rage Esport with Jajowski and Hanny Alsapti. Uh, number 33, Sim Racing for Holland wins the GTE class. Corrali, that's Andrus Corrali, I believe, Knops and Dung uh, over the red line, Porsche 24 of Schering and Rudy Van Buren, and John Alacy Motorsport finishing in third with Dyerland and Stoltz are our big winners that was a big race by the way i saw a lot of that going on uh project cars believe it or not they had a little bit of an update so from december 15th own the future or have an update coming on the future of design speed technology and mind-bending performance with three supercars that redefine every limit this is for project cars three the ferrari sf90 stradale the lamborghini cyan FKP37, I don't even know what that is. And the Hennessy Venom F5 own all of them with the style pack for Project Cars 3. That's on December 15th. Um, on the 4th, I think we actually covered this update on the last show. There was an update on the 4th. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. We have some winners in one of their rivals events. I think that was it for Project Cars. But getting back to that topic there. So... Driving seat number five is where we get a little more details on the style pack for December 15th. The second DLC for Project Cars 3. The Ferrari Stradal. Here, let's play the video. Or not. Let's watch the trailer. So anyway, uh, stop that now, please. Oh, this one's now going. Jeez, that looks like real footage. That looks like real footage to me. What are they doing? Is the game that good? Is the game that good? No. No. Okay. Uh, what else? And there's the Hennessy. I'm gonna mute that because we will definitely get demonetized on that one. Do 
ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Uh, anyway, that's what you got going on for Project Cars 3. Okay, this comes to us from Codemasters F1 2020. Recreate the F2 2020 season now in F1 2020. So their la latest update lets you recreate the F2 series. Um, and it's supposed to compressive. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. That's all. That's all. Sorry. Already talked about this in the last show, but just a reminder, we are waiting on the Dirt 5 wheel support and more next update. Uh, we already talked about this before. It's going to have, we know it's going to have support for single controller wheels. So if you have a Thrustmaster wheel and pedal set plugged in together, that should work. You have a Fanatic wheel and pedal set plugged in together, that should work. The great unknown to me is, will it go beyond that? Will it work with um, a, a Thrustmaster wheel with Rickmotech pedals or pedals that aren't plugged into the wheel, dual controllers. Will that work? Will it acknowledge direct drive or high-end wheels? I don't know. We don't know, but we are waiting any minute, any day, hopefully. It was supposed to come out at the end of November. We're at December 11th, and no word on it yet other than it is still coming. Uh, not sure if I mentioned this, but NASCAR Heat is having a winter heat series on NASCAR Heat 5, and they've got over $16,000. They raised over 16000 for November. I'm guessing that's some kind of a charity thing. Um, yep, raised 11000 uh, uh, November uh, originally was, November was originally known for uh, Global Men's Health Charity. Uh, it's a mission to change the face of men's health. Motorsport games. Anyway. Okay, so anyway, they have a winter thing going. Not a big deal for me. Forza. Been a while t since we talked about any kind of a Forza or Forza Horizon update. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 Series 30 update. They're calling it a huge and very welcome update. We just dropped an all-new game-changing mode. Hoonigan is here, and six new reward cars have arrived. Get all the details you need for Series 30 right here. And a little Super 7. So do you have what it takes to beat the Horizon Super 7? This brand new game mode deals out a, a hand of seven random challenge cards. Race, drift, skill, and more. Beat all seven in a row and get an exclusive reward. The best part, the challenge cards are created entirely by community, featuring custom events built with some very cool tools. Thanks to Blueprint Builder, you can find prop scenery. Anyway, look at this old rickety thing. Uh, oh, look at the Triumph. Look at the old Triumph TR7. Uh, anyway, so yeah, a big update with this Super 7 uh, mode, which, you know, one of the things for me when I think about fun factor on a game Sometimes, oh, look at the X19. Fun factor for me in games often breaks down to um, challenges. And eventually, if you love a game, you'll complete all the challenges. And then you're just kind of sitting there going, ah, what do I do now, right? I mean, am I going to replay? I already got a gold. Do I need to redo it? New challenges are a reason to go back to a sim. For those of you who maybe put Forza uh, uh, away, uh, or Forza Horizon away, maybe it's time to dust off that Xbox and fire it back up and play the new missions. Uh, GT Sport, the FIA GT Championship 2020 World Finals and GR Super GT Cup to be broadcast as YouTube Premiere on December 19th and 20th. So if you want to watch it with a crowd, when they do a premiere, that's allowing you, that's like what we do with this show here. You're allowing kind of a, a watch party mentality. So December 19th, 1300 GMT, the premiere release of the manufacturing series, manufacturer series. And then on the 20th, the Nations Cup. On the 18th will be the GR Super Cup. All right, we do have some finalists in these as well. So uh, on the 6th, they talked about going to Red Bull Ring for race one of the Asia, Asia Oceana Regional Finals. And we have some racing action here. Links to everything are in the description of the show. So if you want to follow along or get more or watch these videos, here's the grand final driver grid. Kokobun, Miyazono, and Yamanaka are our top three. Some more racing actions in the Oceana group. And finally, in the end, it was... Miyazono 
the winner or champion of the Asia Oceana group. And here's our final standings. Miyazona, Kokobun, Yamanaka. All right. And then they're talking also what we just talked about. Bring on the World Finals. The GR Super GT Cup, the Manufacturing Series Nation Cup. Here are the World Final finalists for the World Finals. And, oh. Oh, they went back to the list. We had, You know, I purposely didn't bring up this because I had the image version, dang it. All right, here we are. Brooks, Carraza. I'm not going to go through all the names, but there are the finalists, all the guys. There's Kokobun. He just won his way in. Miyazono, he just won his way in, I believe, and Yamanaka as well. And again, we I just gave you the dates for all that, so it looks like we had our... On this day, so on the 10th, yesterday... In 1999, yesterday, was when Gran Turismo 2 came out. And that's it. That's it from Gran Turismo. We looked at that. WRC 9. So their latest update just came out a couple of days ago. And there are a few things in it, a few things that I need to go test out. Andreas Mickelson Pirelli Test Livery. The Toyota Gazoo Racing Yaris Rally Concept Livery. All new Vodafone Rally to Portugal stages. There you go. New stages Rally to Portugal. And then this, the much-anticipated co-driver mode. Don't even know how it's going to work. I don't know. if I've, I've been checking with my friends, and none of my friends have stepped up and volunteered. They've watched me rally, and nobody is volunteering to step up and uh, be my co-driver. We have to the video that goes along with their update. it kills us oh wait this is the part okay hold on okay so that kind of shows you how it's gonna work obviously the co-driver side yeah we got to try this out wrc9 big deal big deal big big update all right this is my thumbnail of the day does anybody know why Anybody know why? I'll tell you in a minute. Attention, fans of historic cars. We are excited to bring the Volkswagen Scirocco Group 2 to race room. The Scirocco was one of Volkswagen's first successful race cars based on a production model. I owned a 1979 VW Scirocco. And I had little Momo wheels on it and a little Momo steering wheel on it. And for that, what that little car was and the year it was built, Man, that was a fun car. I really loved. It was one of my all-time favorite cars that I've ever owned, and I've owned a lot of cars. My 79 Scirocco. Oh, man. Anyway, look at this. The racing version of the OG Scirocco. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Running a Porsche. Ah, uh, Porsche. All right, so we got that. In addition to that, um... There's some streams they're talking about, some racing they're talking about. Um, racing. Here it is. This is the other one. The GT4 class in race room is getting a long-awaited addition. The Audi R8 LMS GT4. The car has achieved many victories worldwide and was updated for the 2020 season. The Audi R8 LMS GT4 comes to race room this December. And you can read more about it there. I'm running long, so I'm going to probably just move along here. You can, again, the link is here if you want to read more about that specific one or the VW. It's here, the link to the Race Room Twitter page. Wreckfest had an update as well. This new update, new DLC, Racing Heroes Car Pack, new tournament, Racing Heroes, new free track, Eagles Peak Motor Park, and new free tournament mode, Reward Bundles. We filled up our entire off-season with racing. I'm trying very hard to try to find a day... What's up, buddy? What's up, Max? It's okay. I don't know what you're upset about. Let's check out the Racing Heroes video while I check out my DOG. Yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, look at this track, you guys. <laughs> Breakfast. Uh, we gotta get a Wreckfest day in, or night. Maybe we can do something tomorrow night. I don't think we have anything going on tomorrow night. Maybe we can find a way. 
Racing Heroes Car Pack. <laughs> Speedy. So yes, this just happened. How much is it? Um, how much is it? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine for that car pack. All right. This is the next one. Fanatic. Fanatec. Fanatec and BMW Motorsport bring virtual and real world racing closer together together than ever. This is almost retro. Uh, so if anybody remembers the launch of the original Club Sport base, the original came with a BMW rim. Was one of the rims available? The bit, it's you, you can still get it. It's a little bit heavy. It's a little bit expensive, but they did a whole real car, uh, sim car kind of exchange thing in their promotion. So this kind of gets back to the roots. So here's your BMW Motorsport driver walking up to the real M4. Kind of music. Everything comes together. Goosebumps. All right, you can check that. We are at the Fanatic uh, blog, by the way, which is where you're going to find this. So here, this is a very special day for me and probably one of the most important milestones in my career. Um, who's this in the words of? Um, it does not say. Let's assume these are the words of Thomas. I'm going to play this again. Very special day for me and probably one of the most important milestones of my career. Revealed at BMW Sim Live 2020, the podium steering wheel BMW M4 GT3 is a groundbreaking product for the industry. For the first time in sim racing history, a steering wheel has been developed simultaneously for both real and virtual racing. So there was a moment in time when Mazda was working with iRacing to develop the new MX-5, and they were literally building the sim version simultaneous to the uh, the real-life version. And I don't know where the yin and yang began or ended in terms of which was their influence in one direction or only both directions or whatever. Same thing here, but on the hardware side of things. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so what are we talking about? This wheel. This is what we're talking about. This is the new Fanatec wheel that is, I'm assuming, an identical replica of what would be in the M4 GT4 BMW race car. Uh, we're going to talk about this tomorrow on 3 Wide as well. So we're not going to end the topic here. Um, but this is a big deal. It's a, it's a beautiful rim. Uh, looks like some very high-end buttons and knobs and things like might not be what we've seen in the past from Fanatic. we'll have to get one here and check it out anyway uh it's on their twitter page as well yes true we introduced a real racing wheel for the bmw m4 gt3 race car and this is a new wheel can be used in a real life car they're saying read the full story so there you go. Very big. We're going to talk all about it tomorrow on 3 Wide at 10 a.m. right here on YouTube. Um, the only reason I'm posting this or I'm here, I look at a lot of pages looking for news when I'm creating the pit stop each and every day. And one of the places I go is Field VR, desperately waiting for news, desperately to finding out the people, if the people who crowdfunded this company are getting what they're supposed to get. Um, and if you look here, this post here, December 11th, 2019, was actually the last actual post of theirs. That was one year ago today. 
Here's the first review of the pedals one made by one of our Kickstarter backers. So the pedals, they did a certain rollout of the pedals. No word more since December 11th, 2019 from Feel VR. I have to say, I'm disappointed in that. I'm sure a lot of you are as well. American Truck Simulator, introducing Wyoming. You want to go to Wyoming and drive through the expansive land uh, that Wyoming has, national parks. Look at this beautiful scenery. Anyway, here's some shots of Wyoming. Now another, as the content that just keeps coming, coming soon, by the way. So we don't have a price and we don't know exactly when, but some preview shots of Wyoming for American Truck Simulator. All right, uh, AIM. AIM Simulator Technology. Uh, I had an AIM dash on my shifter cart back in my racing days. Um, AIM is one of those data acquisition companies that, that ha makes sensors and uh, uh, screens and computers for finding out exactly what your car is doing so that all the engineers can look at the telemetry. Um, they are now making a kit for sim racing. It's the MXS 1.2 Strata. And it is the AIM Simulator technology for sim racing. There you go. And it's going to work with your telemetry and work with various different pieces of software and provide you a dash from one of the industry standards of real life racing. You know, this is like when Sparco makes a steering wheel. It's a little bit cooler when some generic makes a steering wheel. Same thing here. Uh, there are a lot of great dashes out there, but as a real life racer, I will have a certain appreciation for seeing AIM, the name AIM, on my hardware. Um, it'll make me feel like it's real race car parts, because it is. Anyway, um, Epic Game Store holiday sales back on for December 17th, bringing you the gift of great discounts and 15 days of free games. I mentioned this one because I have a post, and I can show you December 17th is when the Epic Store is going to start their sale. I would imagine that right now... Many, many, many things are on holiday sales, and if they're not, they might be going on sale. So you might want to do a little research, whether it's hardware or software, to find out, is there a Steam sale? Is there uh, one of those various code place places that sell you games? Is there a store coming there? Any of the hardware you're interested in, are they having an upcoming store uh, uh, sale? So we do know this one's starting December 17th, and that will unwrap deals of up to 75% off in their store. And that takes us to this, also from BMW, but not wheels. This is the BMW Design Works have created the Fusion SL Concept Furniture. <laughs> this is furniture for sim racing. Looks like BMW's efforts in the field of sim racing, sim racing are far from over. Initially, a lot of us thought that the push towards simulators took place in the spring solely because we were stuck inside our homes and racing events were canceled. However, this surrogate racing seems to have become a mainstream option and BMW shows no signs of slowing down its investments in the field. Last week, the newly unveiled BMW Motorsport Sim Racing Division, the newly unveiled BMW Motorsport Sim Racing Division unveiled a rather odd project, the Fusion SL, a furniture concept for sim racers. So there you go. You can have this cool chair that pulls up to this stylish looking rig made of laminate wood, it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and how much is this gonna set you back? And and at that kind of price, is this gonna, I mean, I can only imagine this is gonna be like thousands of dollars, right? I can, they don't have a price here. I don't see any numbers in the store anywhere. Uh, it is not necessarily intended to replace the high-end sim rigs used by professionals. Our goal is rather to make sim racing and hardware required attractive for new target groups and, to be honest, their fellow occupants. That was basically a politically correct way of saying the wife, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are cases where it's different, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. I don't need to be too politically correct. All right, looks like it's time to look at a few people's setups or rigs and move on. This is the rim. That's the original BMW. And I think this is a little bit of a mockery uh, on the case of 321 Bacon. Not quite the same. <laughs> well, no, it isn't quite the same, is it? Not quite the way the other one was. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have this one by Mac Noslow. 
What do you think of his custom budget setup? 1200 in materials, including the chair. Slides right up to a 65-inch TV. It's one of those uh, cheap Summit Racing bucket seats that they put in, like, dune buggies. They're literally, like, 40 bucks, I think. Anyway, nice-looking uh, Deathmobile. That is a Deathmobile by every definition. Wood, painted black, throw your own seat on it, and you are racing. <laughs> Mac Noslow, I applaud you on your effort. Good job for 120 Uh This one, post by Wide Body All the Cars. This is his first sim rig. He custom-designed it himself. And it was based on a SimLab GT1 using just generic 80-20 and an NA Miata seat. That's about perfect right there. Ah, oh, you didn't copy the support for your shifter arm, but I got to tell you, you probably don't need it depending on what shifter you're using. <laughs> That's just the reality. All right. Then look at this. This guy, Tokyo Engineer Dad, posted this one. It's a lot, and it's mine. I just like the sentiment behind it. Yeah, damn right, buddy. That's yours. That's your setup, man. We love our sim setups. I love my sim setup, and I'm sure you feel the same way. I have a lot of passion for this rig, and, and it goes through changes. It gets modernized. It gets updated. It even gets new components from time to time, and I love this environment and world that I live in because it's mine. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And then the last DIY or last rig we're going to show before we talk about SimPit business is this. This is by It's Computer Cat. <laughs> Look at this mess, by the way. Getting some very accurate measurements for building his rig. Turns out the chair has to be one toolbox high. Great point there. You know, I, it, you'd have to go back in time, but when I built the original Deathmobile, one of the things that I always tell people when you're building a DIY rig Here's my first tip of advice. Um, your driving position is dictates your dictates the rig shape that you need. And on a rig that you're going to build yourself, it starts at the pedals. Because that's the first height that is going to set the standard for everything else. Whatever your pedal height is, is going to then declare where your seat not only needs to be in height, but also in distance. So what this guy's done here is exactly how you start the process. You put your pedals down and then you get your your seat sized up nicely and then from that it'll automatically determine exactly where that wheel deck needs to be you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway that is the approach good job it's computer cat good luck uh and get that rig in a clean zone man <laughs> no offense all right uh tomorrow morning at 10 a.m right here on youtube will be three wide me amir Assad, and devin booth are going to talk about a variety of topics i named it at the beginning of the show we might have a few other topics to throw in there as well maybe a little more of a medley or a buffet style of topics tomorrow 10 a.m tomorrow should be a really fun show come in give us your thoughts on these various topics beyond that we have a lot of racing that goes on at the sim pit with the sim pit community again if you type in exclamation mark discord it'll give you a link to our discord channel come in there find out where we're racing we have a lot of different uh headings for topics whether it's racing or just conversation and you can find out what we're doing one of the things we're doing is the simpit rally league we race rally league you we know you, you join you run your two times and you find out how do you stand up against the world and i ran my runs runs yesterday and i was feeling very quick and then i drove off a mountain it was horrendous you can see the stream it was a fun stream yesterday really tough stage stages uh argentina is where we are david climber mr unstoppable number one randy savage in second and a lash mom finishing in third so good job to those guys no war tfr finney mcfinger whipperman blair ps4 booth are our top 10 in this last stage and the new one starts now so uh, next week, usually on Wednesday, I practice, and Thursday, I post my actual time, and you'll find that in the Discord under the Simpit series. Um, this was down for maintenance, and it looks like it still is. Wow. Doesn't matter. I don't need them because we're in the off-season. I want to just promote all the upcoming series that we have. So coming up, starting on the 22nd, this is Tuesday night, starting up Tuesday Night Thunder! This is Billy Strange, Tyson Landis, and the Simpit joining forces to create a World of Outlaws style racing environment. It will be fixed setup, so everybody is going to be able to do it. It's in the 305 Sprint Car. And if you would like to join, we still have spots. We already have like 30 people signed up. I don't know what the cutoff is. 
With the most of our Simp Hit series, we allow registration and then we cut it off. This is not a come and go as you please type environment. If you come in, we're hoping you're going to be there for the whole season. I know we all have real life things to deal with as well. But uh, if you want to be part of this six race series, you just to type in and look for Tuesday Night Thunder. Uh, Billy Strange is the host of the league. You will need to apply to the league and you can come out with and race with us. In addition, we are renewing the ARCA League. We ran the ARCA uh, cars last season. David Clymer was our champion. And we are going to kick things up January 8th. Sign-ups begin today, so you do a search on the league section for Simpit Arca League. Amir Assad is our series admin. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark Michkowski. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mark Michkowski is our series admin, and he will be accepting you into the league. Only so many spots, same thing. We expect you to be there. We will be closing off registration, I think. I, I It's Mark's call, but I, we usually do. We don't let people just come and go. We want to get a, a crowd that can race together uh, and learn each other's behavior. Nashville, Southern National, Iowa, Legacy Charlotte, North Wilkesboro, Daytona, New Smyrna, and Rockingham in the ARCA car. Starts off January 8th, finishes February 26th. We're going to have Simpit trophies for all of our champions, whether it's ARCA or the Tuesday Night Thunder or... Not sure about our rally. I'll check with Devin on that one. And next season, it looks like we will. This season might be too late. Anyway, and the Simpit GTE League. Last season, we were in the LMP2 cars. Gonzalo Perone was the champion of that one. And uh, this time, it's going to be GTE cars. Signups begin today as well for that one. Look for Simpit GTE League. Amir Assad is our series admin there, and he will be accepting... Or denying you. I think we only have like 20 spots left in that series. So, it, and it might be less than that by now because we just got things going. So, uh, but again, if you sign up, I, I'm really counting on you to be a big part of the series and stick around to the very end. And that's the way we do things here. January 3rd is when the season kicks off with Watkins Glen, followed by Rot Road Atlanta, Daytona, Nurburg GP, Nurburg combined, the Norge Life. Uh, Silverstone GP, Circuit Jill, Velnuve, Twin Ring, Motegi, and Monza. So all of our Simpit racing is beginning on the 22nd of December, and then the Oval Series on the 8th of January, and the Road League on the 3rd of January. And that takes me to the Simpit schedule. Again, I kept talking about Discord. Jump in our Discord channel, because tonight... You want to run Rally Cross? We're just doing fun racing. It will be a password, so you're going to need to be in our Discord or join me on the stream on Twitch. That'll be at Simpit Live on Twitch. Tonight, we're going to run Rally Cross cars at Phoenix Rally Cross. Should be a lot of fun. Tomorrow morning, like, uh, at the 10 a.m., we have the Three Wide Podcast on YouTube. That will be followed by an Assetto Corsa GT3 race, race at Sim Racing GP at 11. Uh, that will be on Simpit Live on Twitch. And then Sunday morning, we have a 10 a.m. fun race. It's going to be the Mazda Cup Cars at Watkins Glen. I'm looking forward to that one. Again, it'll be passported, passworded. You just need to jump into our Discord group and uh, or tune in for the stream at Simpit Live on Twitch. And you can be a part of that race and be part of that stream and have fun with our community as well. Anyway, a uh, fun, fun show. We ran a little bit long because there was so much to talk about. But thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Sim Pit community. I keep talking community. We have the best community in all of Sim Racing, or at least I think so. Thank you for being part of it. Have yourselves a great weekend. Get out there. Do some Sim Racing. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.